Hello and welcome to this Burning Shop tutorial and today we're going to find out how to make a realistic smoke effect uh, it's by purely using uh, the distort filter and um, edits uh, we're not going to be using any picture as such I have a background picture to put something onto but other than that we are just using uh, tools within Photoshop um, I believe this gives the most realistic effect and it's not the it's not hard to produce it takes a little bit of time to get it right and uh, but once you do it you can save um, I suppose you can save the smoke as a PNG file and then uh, just drop drag and drop her smoke effects into other images as you see fit so uh, without further ado here goes so we're going to start off with uh, this this image and uh, the first thing we're going to go to is our uh, paintbrush tool yep and we want to get a, um, a nice smoky color and that color is going to be a gray off gray it doesn't really matter what color of gray you take or as long as you take a gray um, right now I'm going to go to right CS5 and I don't know where anything is up here what's this oh hello that's what I want and I want to have oh pattern ah uh, this one right and I want to set this to a uh, pen pressure and um, yeah you guys are gonna if you don't have a pen then you just set this down to 40 20 uh, and whatnot and actually I want to also change shape dynamics just a bit off to pen pressure yeah right so and the brush we want to use for this is a special kind of brush and we want to have a calligraphic brush and we're going to press ok because we want to get rid of our previous selection and we keep these uh, so the first brush we're going to get is 45 and uh, yep I have to go put my brush dynamics back together color dynamics transfer that's one okay so let's do this right we're gonna uh, go to our layers we're gonna create a new layer now to be warned this tutorial takes um, to actually do this properly it takes some time so uh, but it gives us a good effect so bear with it and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start brushing in some smoky wispy kind of uh, yeah essentially just smoke think smoke when you're doing this that's all I can say so very little straight lines as curvy as you can yeah, that's how we do it can I uh, zoom out yeah and so uh, let's get this out uh, uh, yeah, we want it to be smaller at the top and uh, thicker at the bottom just like this and that's good that's pretty awesome we've done well okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to I think we're going to move this more to the center of my image and uh, we're going to go to a filter, a distort wave, and we're going to click randomize. Press OK, and it's randomized our wave pattern. Now, the next important thing we're going to do is we're going to go to edit, fade wave, and stick it about 50%. Now, this takes a long time. To do properly you just have to keep going there wave randomize okay edit fade wave 50 40 even and uh we keep going over this distort wave randomize okay edit fade wave okay 
and we're going to keep going over this until it looks very smoky oh. and uh, annoyingly we can't make an action script for this and uh, control F doesn't seem to work so uh, this is a manual it takes a long time it can get fairly hypnotic to do this so uh, it's not too bad it gives the best results and uh, yeah and um, a quick uh, so often you want to go to screen and it's going to lighten up our wave a bit and filter distort wave randomize okay edit fade wave 50 okay now what we're going to do is we want this to, we're just going we're going to keep doing this i'm going to keep doing this until that it looks right and so i will probably cut out fairly soon just because watching me do this for i don't know how long it's going to take will get very boring very quickly so uh yeah i'm thinking we're going to cut out out now Right, so I've uh, finished my um, box smoking, and I've got this, and I'm going to probably do it one more time for you, just to go through it again, and I'm going to go to wave, filter distort wave, randomize, uh, edit, fade wave, 50, and uh, actually, I don't like that look of the smoke so far, so I'm going to do it again. See what that looks like. I mean, that looks like pretty decent smoke, yeah. Uh, I mean, so yeah. I mean, if you if you uh, your smoke for any reason is too straight, Control T to bring us free. Uh, so you're gonna go do Control T to free transform, then press right click, then warp, and look what we can do. We can warp our, our smoke to go wherever we want, which is pretty sweet. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, getting a cold, which is uh, lovely. As you uh, guys know, you know, if I love colds, they are pretty sweet. Uh, so, <laughs> as a toy, if we go uh, to duplicate this layer, we move it a bit to the right, probably a bit down and we press screen looks a bit bright I, by screen I mean overlay is that, is that what I mean? what one what do I mean? um hard light yeah, that's what it is. So I have some, I do these quite a few tutorials at the same time, so uh, the uh, the blending options all get mixed up into one big jumble, which is uh, it doesn't make much sense, but yeah. So I'm just gonna transform this one, bring it down a bit. Copy layer one again. Set that on top. Maybe if I don't like this uh, top bit here, I can, what can I do to it? I can uh, essentially warp it. So uh, yeah, that was a tutorial teaching you how to do a smoke, a, a realistic smoke. I mean, you can stick this on anything. So if you are. Uh, I don't know. You know, uh, photoshopping a gun. You want to put some smoke at the end. And uh, that was a fail there. I was trying to move it. Yeah, you put some smoke at the end of your uh, gun, wherever it is. And uh, yeah, just generally play about with it. I mean, it's uh, a little bit time consuming, but uh, I, I can't see any other tutorial that shows you a better result I feel it's the most realistic and uh, it's much better than just overlaying smoke onto your image uh,
mind that never looks right. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, you're not, you're probably not going to use the same smoke for um, every piece. It's just that I don't want to have to, uh, what's it called? Yeah, I don't want to have to uh, do this so many times. So, uh, thank you for watching this video tutorial. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.